Okay, now I'm going to go through the bagging process of the kitty cots. And I get everything all set up. Basically, these are all going to be... Oh, by the way, I'm Jim with uh, Kitty Cots. Uh, kitty Cot, whatever you want to call it. And uh, World's Best Cat Perch. I'm in Seattle, Washington in a really cool garage. And what I wanted to do is just go through the next operation. These are all the Kitty Cots stacked up. These are all pretty much Amazon dedicated uh, for the fulfillment program because it's going berserk as usual. Anyway, uh, we'll go through it fairly quickly. I have my suction cups. I have the giant uh, patented suction cups on the left side with the top loop, and then I've got my other ones on the right-hand side. And, uh, you know, they're just sitting right there. These are how I do it. The loop cup and then the post cup on the right-hand side. I've got all my snap clips right here. This is a great can from uh, Pelican, Alaska, which I found when I was in Pelican, Alaska, flying up there in a seaplane. And then these are my Amazon uh, USB code labels right here. They come off of sheets like this I print. And I slice them right down in thirds because I like to just be able to use a single sheet. These are my suffocation labels right here, so they stay right here. These are all my cards which go along with each kitty cot. And these are my bags right here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to show you how I start doing the bagging process of the kitty cot. Hopefully you can see this properly. And I take my gloves off for this operation. So basically I grab down a kitty cot. And... Uh, I got two clips, I grab two suction cups, I eyeball all the suction cups because I sometimes they come out of the mold deformed. So I put the uh, clip through the hole, pull it, and then the suction cup goes on to the front cables and I just let them go on there just like that and then I drop them. And then this one goes up like this and the tab, this little tab, the pull tab, that always goes to the inside. And I stick it into the corners. I stick all the suction cups into the corner of the frame. And then I grab my uh, coffee stirrer. And that just goes in like that. I use the coffee stirrer, not a plastic stick, because the plastic slips on the plastic. This is all of a plastic material. So this is the only thing that keeps, you know, it just basically is like, a, that's, what, that's what I do. And I eyeball my other suction cups. You can see they're a little bit funky, but that's the way they come out of the box. As long as they're not deformed, they're fine. They get stacked into a box, the 24 by 14 by 14 box, 10 high in my shop here. And you can see the tabs on those suction cups go to the inside of the frame. My stirs go into there like that. So there it is right there, see? Perfect. Or perfect. Does it just like that. Okay, that's laying flat. All my bags, I make sure to come out. The hole is open real easy. This gets, actually the card goes on all my cards. This is my card right here. So it's a, you know, the, the, that's the card. And then the directions are on the back side. So this thing sits just like this. It goes underneath the wires. Okay. And then this guy, then I take my suffocation labels here. I just peel one off. This is my sticker and I fold this bag over kind of like an envelope. It goes over like this. And I kind of do it like in a cross, like that. And then these are my Amazon fulfillment, or, you know, my USB. And then this goes on also right next to it. She's done. And then, this is my box. That goes in the box, just like that. So all these kitty cards get stacked up. Let's go through that one more time here. It's real simple. You didn't, that didn't take very long. Two clips. Two suction cups, they go down, make sure that I have my tabs forward. You know, these little pull tabs, they always sit forward. And I always put these clips in from uh, left to right. It just makes it, that's how I do it, because I'm right-handed. And then it goes in, you pull it, done. And then I grab this wire like this. The tab on the suction cups always go inside. It's a real simple process. Real simple, real fast, and real good, because it's the perfect design. It's the kitty cot. Eyeball your suction cups, make sure they look perfect, perfect. Everything's perfect in this business. Even the cats that sit on these kitty cots are perfect. There you go. I put a card. 
That's why the gloves don't gloves don't work for this operation very well. Open the bag up into the right side, slide her down. These are two mil bags, so that's what Amazon requires is a two mil bag or better for this kind of stuff. And of course, when there's this big of an opening on the bag, they require a suffocation label. And as my kitty cots get stacked in the boxes, if there's any deformation or any oddball looking, I wouldn't say deformation, if there's any oddball looking suction cup, you know, they don't come out of the boxes uh, exactly beautifully sometimes. They tend to, once you start stacking kitty cots up in boxes, they start to flatten out real nice. So, this is how I do it. And it works pretty cool. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do one more after this. I'm going to move the camera to my left side over here so you can see from the left. And sometimes... Sometimes you have to work to get that dog on. This is what I don't like. Sometimes the fabric is so tight. Jesus. Jesus de Christi. There she goes. That's why you gotta give yourself a little extra time for this operation. You know, this is manufacturing. Nothing's absolutely Exactly all the time when you're doing handmade your hand assembled stuff. These are kitty cots are assembled in the USA of USA and imported materials. The only thing from China are these guys right here. They're all the pipe and all the fittings are USA. The fabric I think is from Indonesia, sewn right here by commercial fabrics products in Seattle, Washington. The bags are Taiwan from uh, probably the biggest box and bag manufacturer, Uline. Suffocation labels, Uline. If it could all be USA, I'd do it, but boy, that's tough these days to get everything made in USA. Okay, we're going to move the camera to the other side now. Move some stuff out of the way. Oh, this is what I fly in the summertime. De Havilland Beavers, by the way. Maybe you can see it from here. This is getting to be kind of a long video, but this is an info, info video, info video. Tabs forward on the suction cups. So I don't care if it's 10 minutes or not. You can watch it or not. This is how we build kitty cots in Seattle, Washington. Kittycot.com, world of best cat perch. And I've got lots of cat, lot of cats hanging on my lines. I'll tell you what. 18 humane societies around the country and in Canada and Australia. I supply every one of them reorders, all the time. Plus online, I sell them on my website. Lots and lots of them on Amazon. I'm having to make more and more because it's getting better and better. There you go, it's a nice tight fit, everything's tight. The presentation of the product is really what is important, I think. The bag comes out, so when you get your kitty cot, it's presented to you very well. And you don't have to do anything hardly except put the suction cups in the back of the frame, find the window you're going to put it on, stick it on the window, and get out of the way, your cat's coming through. Because he or she wants to sit in that window and look out at all the birds and cool things. Into the bag she goes. That's it. KittyCot.com, world's best cat perch. I'm Jim Howard in Seattle, Washington. Thank you very much. Goodbye.